Hello everybody, it's your boy Twin Plays here, back in the video, hope you guys are all doing amazing. So today in this video, we're going to be talking about how to make your GUIs like mobile compatible. Um, this kind of goes with everything to be honest. Um, you can make every UI compatible after watching this tutorial, so it's kind of nice. Um, and we're going to require two things in this. Um, so, oh actually just one thing in general. Um, it's called the Auto Scale Lite plugin. Um, you can find that by you know going to Marketplace, going to Plugins, or just going to the description. But it will be in here. Um, you can look at like there's these ones, but um, if you just go look at Auto Scale, um, it should just be in here for you. Um, I'll I'll leave it in the description so you don't have to worry about finding it. Um, but yeah, so we're basically gonna get into this now. It's not um not super hard. Um, it's it's actually pretty easy. And I'm also going to explain like a few little things as well on the side and I'll leave them in the description talking about like um, how to do like certain things with like actual GUIs like clicking or holding down. So we'll really talk about that. Um, if you are new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I'm coming to you guys. We're almost at 46,000 subscribers. So thank you. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, to get right into this, um, we're just going to create a simple GUI. Um, I'm going to make something pretty simple, not too hard. Uh, and we're going to really talk about this. So. You always want to make your oh, sorry we'll go size you're gonna to make it one zero one zero so the majority of uh how to do certain things is um always have a frame as your main holder and keep the size as one zero one zero because that is the like total size of the screen um and i'm just gonna create like a text button uh we can just put it right in the middle i guess um and um we're actually gonna look at yeah i'll just like you know you, you want to do stuff you, Mess, mess around. Do what, do what you want to do. I'm, I'm just doing a little simple text button right in the middle of my screen. Um, but as you can tell, so the best way to test your UI is by looking at this. Just literally going like this and being like, okay, this isn't right. This is not how it should be. It should be turning, it should be getting smaller as well as getting thinner and all that stuff. Because as you can tell, the screen's getting smaller and everything, but not the button. So um, going to the description, get that plugin. Make sure you download it and once you get it it should be in your plugins tab right up here and it should have all these things now um i'm going to quickly show you how to do this um there's a lot of things you can look at um as well as like where placement but basically where you place your button is where everything's going to be on the screen so um messing around here i'm not like i've it's been a second i've done this but um as you can tell there's the x size constraint right here so if i were to do xx um this is i think this is x Let's go y yeah so there's certain there's certain ways but you always want to make sure it's x y um it just depends on what you do um but <clears throat> so we're actually gonna do a plugin and you're gonna add okay well this is add ui aspect ratio constraint so what that does is it keeps it this size forever so uh we're not really gonna do that right now actually you wanna you would wanna do so like if you were to oh yeah unit conversion is what we're gonna open up so i'll talk about it in a sec but if you were to add the frame and do UI aspect ratio constraint. So you see how this is actually getting like smaller in a sorts, but it's like, that's like specifically like basically making it um, keep the same uh, ratio. We don't want that because that would make everything offset and everything. So you wouldn't want a uh, UI aspect ratio constraint on the frame, but text button wise. Um, so frame wise, as you can tell, as you go like this, it's always gonna be the same size. So text button, everything inside of the frame. Now, what I'm gonna show you guys is all your stuff inside your main frame, it's really easy to do because you can just go to your GUIs that you already have and just click these buttons. So um, there's unit conversion, that's what you're gonna do. And there's also scale text. So if you ever wanted to like have your text not like go down a certain size, there's min and text sizes, which is nice. Um, as you can tell, it kind of, I'll just, yeah, I'll go back and do that. Um, so you're gonna click the button. Um, and there's a lot of stuff. So you have to look at offset and there's scale. So I'm sorry, you can't really see my screen right now. So there's offset and scale. Um, and you're going to mess with these buttons. Now, normally what I do, if I'm right, I think it's been a second. So just bear with me. Wait, wait, that's not what I want. Hold on. Uh, why is that right? There we go. Okay. So, um, sorry guys. I'm going to write this. Um, basically, what we're going to do is let's go offset and offset. Um, so as you can tell, now when we do this, it doesn't move a button. So you kind of have to look at, right? You have to look at what's going on here. Why is it doing that? So what I'm going to do is we're going to look at position um, and we're going to go scale of size. We're going to go scale. So now 
as I'm going like this, it's moving the size. So let's go and um, okay. So I want to let's put this back in the middle, right? Let's go scale and scale. What's gonna happen now? So I, oh, position and the size is getting smaller at the same time. So going like this, going like this. And there you go. So you kind of you kind of get what I'm trying to say. So depending on the size of the screen, even if you were to do um. Even if you were to do certain things, I don't know. I forgot where you can see how to like look through uh, Chrome. But um, as you can tell, now that I click scale and scale, it's going to do that. So if I were to, let's go, oh, no, let's keep that open. Add constraint. It's on scale now, okay? So it's still on scale. And it's still going to the same size. So as you can tell, it's still in the same position, still in the same area. But it's being in a certain area. It's, it's changing sizes and fitting to the screen. So that's the best part about this. So if I'm going to go like this. So this is what you want to do. You don't want to add the UI expression. You want to go like this. Let's say you have UI buttons. Okay. You have, you have three buttons. You're going to go like this. You're going to go on the side of the screen uh, for mobile or whatever. Mobile. Um, and we're going to go like this. Now um, let's go into here and add constraints okay so as you can tell going down wait that's not right hold on <laughs> let's make sure they're all the same sorry it was probably the weird plugin window so as you can tell if you keep looking at my screen i'm sorry it's kind of weird but as you can tell it's just going to the same size now look at the look at the text though so that's a that's because of the text button uh you just want to make sure that's text scaled um just like that um, and now if you do want, you could do a certain, I think you could actually do that text scale button, which is kind of nice. But, um, as you can tell now, as we go down, everything fits on the screen. So it's, it, that's it. That's like how simple it is. Um, basically you just click your button and you just click scale and scale on the buttons and it allows it to, um, automatically scale on your screen, whether you're on a tablet, whether on your phone, whether on your this or that. Now, um, there are ways to like make it so it fits like a certain exact way i'm pretty sure um but you know we, we really just want to look at these buttons in a certain so what you want to do is set up all your guis the way you want for a pc is in my opinion is what i do and then you literally play the game test it out and then you just see if this all fits well for you and then you literally just go into your unit conversion stuff select everything and just go scale scale add some aspect uh aspects and constraint, uh, constraints sorry and that's it. So, cause you, like I said, if I do the frame one, now it's going to do this weird shiz, but you don't need to do that. So that's about it. Now let me pause this video and kind of explain some things with, uh, the GUIs. All right. So I'm actually going to just show you the scripts I use for my Ninjago game. So I scripted these all by myself and they're just kind of simple buttons. So, um, we have a meditate button, we have a sprint button. Um, and I kind of talked about these buttons. So, for example, for the meditate button, you don't even need to do, um, you don't even need to do touch tap. You can just use mouse button one click. Um, so a lot of people kind of get confused. Like not honestly, I get confused sometimes because Roblox scripts it. So like it's already made for your mobile game. Like you don't really need to worry about like some things are already made for that. So like mouse button one click that it, that works for mobile. Um, there's just certain things like there's touch tap. I'll leave some things in the description talking about this touch end, um, touch begin, all that kind of stuff. Um, so this is the main one right here. This is what I was talking about to see if like, okay, someone touches your button, but holds it down. So basically touch long press is this, this is what I mean by that, uh, for sprint button. If you want to use the sprint button, just copy this code. Um, and, uh, this is the fire server I can bring on to later about, I don't know where I put those at, but, um, yeah, sprints right here. So basically, um, <clears throat> if touch state begin, then I would basically say it's on, like if they were basically sprinting. And if it ends, then it's off. They are not sprinting anymore. So that's what the touch long press does. Um, I don't remember why I fired it to server, but yeah. You, oh, just for everyone could see it too. That's why. Um, so yeah, you fired to server. And then I did another event that was talking about fire to client, which was the sprint. And then in the starter player scripts, if I'm right, uh, no, it was the starter character scripts. Uh, da -da 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 character sprint script um it'd be in here 
and then this is checking if they're on then it's going to play the animation and it's going to do the tweens all that kind of stuff but as you can tell so see like remote event here and we have computer um because that's what kind of what i did and we had this this was the little run function but um this is for the computer but this was for the uh mobile because you know they weren't able to do it from the computer because there's there's different ways because they don't have you can't do mouse button like one hold or whatever for uh the, the mobile you have to use touch long press so there's a lot of documentation on this i really recommend just going on google searching as much as you can up and really just like looking at things that like uh can help you on this um just search them up if you have a question Join my Discord, it's in the description, and we can really talk about how to do certain things. Um, I might make a tutorial on the sprint script, I probably will, um, as well as I'm going to make a simple tutorial on the next one talking about meditate, uh, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, I um, hope you guys did enjoy this video, um, I will see you in the next one.